judge this discussion, but hopefully we'll be done by then. Great. <laughs> All right. Well, while you gather yourself, I'll call the meeting to order. You can Fantastic. take over the chairing as soon as you're ready. Well, I'm happy to not take over. Well, all right. I'll read the agenda. Okay, so this is beginning the special meeting of the EDC, April 16th at 5 p.m. I'm calling to order. I guess we have citizen comments. Are there any citizen comments? There will be. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's start with citizen comments. No. No, no, I'm not yet. <laughs> oh, go, I'm sorry, John. Only, only when he they're not called for. He was just being snarky. Well, are, are there, we have a lot of citizen, the citizen to EDC <laughs> member ratio is as high as it's ever been. Gentlemen over there. Yes. I mean, I have a comment. I don't know if this is the appropriate time to say it or not, but okay. where, uh, I mean, I personally, and I'll speak for my wife as well, we both highly approve of holiday lights and, and um, flower baskets. I would just urge us to make sure, I know we're getting the, the flowers from the um, the Woodstock High School, um, but I would just urge us to ask them and encourage them to not use any kind of um, pesticides or herbicides that are going to kill pollinators, and that that become essentially part of the the brief for going forward with things any any kind of plantings in in the town of Woodstock that that are EDC related. Okay, um, I think we're probably ill-equipped to to deal with that in, in the moment, only because I'm not, is anyone an agriculturalist? But Beth, do you have any comment about that, or just sort of an informal I don't. comment? Um, I, it hasn't come up. Um, the students plant the plants in, they began in November at the high school. I would assume, but I know that I shouldn't assume, that they are, um, environmentally sound without using the NICA, whatever it's Neo called. Neonicotinoids. Mm -hmm. right. which I, I understand. Um, it has never been brought up before and the plants are already planted. So perhaps if that's something that uh, people feel strongly about, then maybe that's a conversation that we could have for future plantings. Okay. Or, or future policy that there, you yeah. know, more broadly right. that there are some environmental Requ uh, criteria that the EDC might consider. Mm -hmm. okay. I, yeah, I would urge. I mean, if the plants are bought, the plants are bought. Right, okay. um, but I would also encourage you to ask them anyway. Right. Um, I will. I'll send John. I great. No problem. Okay. Sending okay. John okay. Good suggestion. Yeah, great. Are there other citizen comments? Well, you know, I guess I guess this is the appropriate time. Thank you for um, doing this. First of all, um, I think it's important, and uh, and for taking up both the plants and the lights, because they are the winter version of the flowers, in a sense, and so important to the uh, impression people have of our beautiful village. They, they, they're truly both very, very important. So I just wanted to say they're both important. Okay. So are we taking them both up? Well, the, the, re the grant request is for both. Okay. We have to discuss them. Okay. Any other comments? Oh, I would support what Jeff was saying. I, I think you know, they're equally important for like a year on effect. Oh, well, this is getting into the, uh, uh, your comment is fine, but we're just getting, actually getting into the substance. So maybe, I, I think we're sort of required to have citizen comments in okay. general. So I just want to let there be general ones and then we'll go to okay. the discussion. Then that discussion okay. happens. Because okay. we reserve mine until, until we have, okay, then we have the specific. Are there any comments on any other topic? I don't know if we're required to have that or not. Do you? Okay. All right. Good. Have this hearing done then. Now we're in the grant discussion. Um, and so the grant request is for $5,500 out of a total of $6,700 for flowers, uh, the total budget, and twenty-eight twenty-five dollars out of a total of $5,200 roughly for lights. So the total grant request is uh, $8,300 out of a total budget of, of $12,000. And they're broken out into those two pieces. Oh, Courtney has joined us. Courtney. Okay, are there any, yeah, this is, we're improving the ratio of EDC to citizens. Um, any, does anyone, is there any discussion? So Joe, I cut you off there. Do you want oh, to? I, I, I'm just going to say, I'm, I just, uh, my initial impression was that we're just talking about flowers. And initially I said, well, why aren't we doing the, the lights too at the same time? But since we are, I'm happy to see that. Well, I think there was, I, so I was sort of responsible you know, just proactively, I guess, no one appointed me to just sort of summarize our discussion. And, and I thought there was some mention at the last meeting of approving the flowers now. 
because that's urgent and we need to do it before the next, you know, it's happening now. And, that, and holding off on the lights and not opining on the lights. Um, and so I, that's why I, that oh, may I have seeped okay. in. I think that's perfectly open for discussion. So. So I think flowers, flowers for this year as well. Correct. This is yeah, just so a one-year grant. This year is just grant. for flowers for okay. this year because right. the, in order to grant <coughs> the, um, the, the full, the chamber's full request is for an ongoing and recurring, correct? Um, I did not expenses. put no. that in no? my grant no. proposal. I only asked for this okay. year. Okay. Grant I would like it, but right. for this so, year it is specifically yeah, I, lights and flowers. I have okay. copies if we want it, but this, yes. That's exactly what you said last meeting that we just talked about the flowers I said that yeah yeah, yeah. And, and that, that was what we all agreed on well yeah. can I ask a question and since since the application was for both and just for one year why why cause another meeting to happen and why not why not uh, take a, a vote on uh, what you folks think about doing both because they are so parallel to <coughs> each other and why put it off right so so well, so does it, so I, I'll give my own answer. I think we each may have we may dis differ on this because I don't think we really fully discussed it at the last meeting. But I, I think I put forward the idea. Th this is um, I, I think a reasonable argument. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> a reasonable argument could be made that this is something that should not be um, that should that, that should not be an EDC grant. I think there are arguments personally that can be made that some of the other grants that we've made fall into the same category that they're one step removed from direct economic development and we're about to have a meeting in a couple of weeks where we rethink the benefits of small grants versus much larger grants that are m much more significant like buying a building or building housing or you know uh, you know building the trail the, or whatever, some, something that's hundreds of thousands of dollars in multiple years and so forth. We may not decide to do that. I don't want to prejudge anything. That concept kind of raises the question of should we really be funding things that have traditionally been funded by others and might in fact be able to be funded by others. That's balanced against the fact that the Chamber has asked for help. We want to be as helpful as we can. It's, it's time sensitive. We don't know that there's a lot of other options. We all want the flower baskets. We all want the lights. So let's do what we have to do now, have our policy discussion, which might end up by saying, this is fine. These kinds of things are fine. We want to do a certain amount of this or a lot of this and more of it, in which case I'm certain we would approve the lights. Or we might decide alternatively that despite the pain of, of it, we really want to focus on big projects that really could have an impact to build housing or to attract workers or to create jobs. And if that were the case, then, then we might, if, if we had set those criteria a month from now, we might look at this differently. So that would be the only reason for delaying it. It's sort of a, that we're about to do a strategic reassessment. And there also, somebody said there was already a budget for some of the money, some of the, some of the budget in the town. The, the village, for, I yeah, the, the, for there's that. I think my, my, my impression was that yeah, I did not feel fun. equipped in a special meeting um, given 10 days noted. The, the request came in outside of granting um, periods and time frames when we build in our ability and time to really assess a grant's um, need, other funding, everything else. And since this came in outside of that time frame and um, the need to fund it was immediate. We wanted to both address that need um, and also give ourselves time to really correctly assess with all of the variables and all of the time it, it, it's required, uh, the larger request. Right, let me comment because, Courtney, you, you raised something out. Let me clarify something. The village has a total of $5,000 towards beautification. The uh, trustees want to spend it on something else. And we would actually like to love to join in in our spending um, with the revitalization <coughs> committee because they, they one of the things uh, that they are trying to do is uh, uh, take care of the parks in some way uh, Teagle Landing which is so used by and so central uh, physically in the village is in terrible shape and is unsafe right now with stairs that needing replaced railings that need replacing and it could be beautified uh, uh, substantially our 5,000 will do the whole thing we would love to work with the revitalization committee to do that we don't, so that money I think is really, we want to go elsewhere. 
I, I understand right. John's point of view. However, you know, let's put the, our feet down and look at how much money that we all have. You're the committee, the commission that's looking at it, but it's all our taxpayers' money you know, gathered uh, to, to, uh, to provide economic development. This is such a small amount for those lights. To approve it for one year would be helpful in the following way. It's been funded so willy-nilly, and as I said, the village doesn't want to have the, <coughs> wants to spend those funds elsewhere. It's been funded in a very willy-nilly manner over the years, and it's a struggle each year to find the money. This should be something that you folks can just say, you know what, compared to what we're spending, whether it's for a park run or for this or for that or for that or for that, this is an important thing on an ongoing manner. Let's just decide to do it. I would ask you and urge you to do that today. Well, and, this, and then, then, then well, we don't have a request. And we then, don't have to do it. Well, it's going to be, that's right. Yeah, that's I, what I was going to. I don't think it's any evaluation of that point to say that we're not going to do that today. First, we don't have a request to do that today. But the, the notion of a recurring payment, let me just say, the way, I'm the strongest advocate of opening up our process to recurring payments. I believe that to have economic impact, I suppose you could say whether it's flowers or houses and buildings, well, you need to do it over time. No, I understand. Not recurring. But, I meant approve the... Approve the the lights and the flowers. Yeah, yeah. both for one but, year. Okay. Let me I just know. ask, let me ask folks if, on the phone if you have any comments or can, can you hear us? Uh, I'm having trouble hearing you guys, or uh, hearing the citizen comments anyways. I can hear your, John, I can hear you great, but uh, I can't hear much in the background. Okay, I I'll turn the phone towards the citizen. Okay, I'll turn the phone towards the citizen. But basically, um, Jeff was asking, uh, you know, was giving some good reasons for why we should consider both the flowers and the lights now rather than waiting. For one year. For, for one year, just for one year. Yeah. Any, does anyone else have, okay. anyone have any comments on the phone? Uh, yes, this is Charlie. I mean, I was of the opinion that we were just really looking at the flower baskets because of the timeliness, so I'd just like to restrict our own vote today to the flower baskets. Um, and then once we have a greater discussion on May 13th and we go to the select board with a change in that approach, perhaps, uh, to then put the question about the uh, lights there as well. And uh, I know the village trustees have considered whether or not they should be donating money to the flower baskets or to other projects, and, uh, and they do have some resources from which to draw as well. Uh, so it's a, it's a group effort. <coughs> okay, and who is uh, Michael? Anything? Uh, you know, we kind of hear this every year, right, this, this grant proposal. And I remember last year uh, there, was, there were a bunch of comments saying that, hey, the 5,000 whatever request wasn't enough. You know, my, I'm of the opinion that, yeah, if we want to just do the flower baskets today and put the lights off to a later date, that's fine with me. But, but I really think that we need to um, figure this out once and for all. If EDC is going to fund the flowers for many years, I, I mean, I personally would like to see that, to have it done and have, and have, have it supported so we don't have to visit this every year. And so that we know the village is going to look nice. I think this kind of fits in with the whole revitalization plan as well. Okay. Other. Isn't that what you're going to do at your yes. later so meeting? On, is on, consider a funding meeting a on May 13th. Things. To, to May 13th. Yes. Oh, well, 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 just to be clear, we're we're not going to consider. Specific I don't think specific reason. grants. We're going Correct. to. We have a policy. Correct. Of, yes. of not doing that. Yes. yes. Right. We're going to reconsider that policy. Yes. Okay. And so that would open Which it up on May 14th for the discussion, part of the discussion we're having now, unfortunately. Which is part of, which is why we had hoped to restrict the vote today right. to what is absolutely necessary right now. Beth. Can I just say yeah. that we, we did not come last year and request money for flowers or lights. Okay. Yeah. For the record. Yeah. Okay. For the record. All right. Are there other comments, Larry? Yeah. Um, again, I'm new to all this, but it's. Both of these things seem to me to be, from everything I can read, smack on to what the EDC wants to do, which is beautification and bringing, <laughs> making a better experience for uh, people coming into town, better experience for people who live here. I love, I love both of those things. And um, I don't know about other sources of the funds, but it seems to me if we're going to make a decision that M might not follow a policy that we come up with later, w w 
about flower baskets, why don't we make the decision for both of them and and let them be able to rely on for this year, um, you know, funding. It seems like a very modest request for a pretty big bang for the yeah. buck. That's a good point because I think our meeting's about you know, really going into the next year and, and planning way ahead and planning for 2020 and how do we build a budget of certain things we know we're going to do every year and then the small grant budget and then the large grant budget and, and kind of look at that further ahead. And is $2,800 going to change that strategy? Right, right. Yeah, okay. I have a question. Uh, I wasn't sure about what you meant when you said uh, you may be considering not pro um, providing sp money for specific grants uh, and I'm not sure what that means no no I, I, I didn't mean to say that I meant I meant to say that we you know I I don't know what we're going to consider we're going to brainstorm our, our current policies but one of the ideas is to one of the questions we're asking ourselves is what should the balance be between what I'll call small individual grants which have the, the I'm not trying to pick on this one there have been 20 I don't know is that a good number you know uh, versus a smaller number by necessity of much bigger projects. I'll give you my personal opinion. I don't think we're going to eliminate either category. I would be astonished if we said we're only going to do one of those two. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't but know. I the point that you were making was that in that what? meeting we're not going to be specifically looking at any. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Thing. I'm, I'm yeah, yes, we're not. Right, we're going to be looking at the, yeah. the, the criteria. Yeah, no, 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 I, I think May 13th meeting is to have this discussion. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we yeah. really. Oh, we just May sort of 13th explain. and also also an open meeting. Absolutely, yes. 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 Absolutely. They always yeah. are open yeah. meetings. Yeah. Okay. And there's yeah. another question. I just wanted to make a comment that as a merchant town, you know, we're constantly hearing comments about positive comments about the flowers and also the lights. In fact, many people have said to me that they stop in Woodstock when they were planning to just go through because they thought it was such a pretty town in the winter and they love the flowers, et cetera, in the summer. And that type of thing is what makes, gets their attention and made them stop. Right. So I think by not, you know, uh, by possibly jeopardizing those programs in any way because it's difficult to raise the money from year after year, uh, we could be losing a real asset that may be bringing people into town who shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's... <laughs> Um, it seems to me that we have a lot to talk about on the 13th. This issue comes up every year. And it's not a lot of money, in my opinion. I think we should get rid of it now, make the policy now, get, and then yeah, we'll, have, sure we'll have plenty to talk about on the 13th. We shouldn't be talking about right, I motion to vote, that. vote on both today. I'd make that motion first, and then we vote on the... Okay, well, let's uh, see if the first one passes, then we won't have to... Vote on anything. Right. Else. Oh. There's a motion. Second. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, Is it uh, well, uh, uh, We have a recording, no, so okay. I'll. We'll, no, that doesn't serve as the minutes, but we'll write the minutes up from the recording. Good. If, if we can't, then we'll, I'll write what something else. What did he say? He just went so fast yeah. that uh, I didn't hear <laughs> what Okay, so we have a motion to, to consider, which is to approve $5,500 for the flowers and $2,825 for the lights for this year. Is there any. I think we have to now. Final discussion among just among the committee members. Any other comments? Okay. If this if we have people on the phone, if it's unanimous, uh, we don't have to take a roll call. Otherwise, we do. So, um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Are there any opposed? Aye. Okay. Then it's unanimous. We don't need a roll call, and um, the proposal passes for this year to, to approve both. Thank you. Um, other business or new business? <laughs> yes. Is there any other business? I hope not, or new business? Okay. Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Sorry, Mary. Thank you. Oh, yeah. right. Thank you for that. And Thank my you. only other comment is um, on the 13th, we'll be able to talk about anything that comes under your um, grant, or this wouldn't be called a grant if you decide to do it. Would it be an annual grant? How no, no. is well, that? Well, decided that night. Yeah, I think that's the agenda for that meeting is currently pretty open. Okay. I think we will post an agenda, but you're getting a flavor. It's going to be more brainstorming and policy strategizing. All right. It's not what I meant is it's not specifically about any particular grant. It's okay. about what kinds there's of things we should be spending our money on. Setting there, our priorities. There, there is our, one. I think in our current, uh, the most recent 
um, evolution of the EDC with the 1% coming into play. We're really trying to figure out our policies from here on. I think in the very beginning there weren't a whole lot. Um, and I think we're finally getting to a point where we're really solidifying what the how we should march from here. There is one more um, annual item in Woodstock that's important to people, and it's not in the village, but it's something that invites people here, and that's fireworks. Oh, yeah. And that is something that requires funding every year and fundraising. So would that be the night to talk about that? No, it, it, it would, no, no, it would be the night to talk about things like that. Like that. Okay. So in other words, I would describe it as small grants that people are in favor of that make the town experience positive. Okay. That, that happen every ongoing. year, that are ongoing every ongoing year. Ongoing annual yeah. Yeah. And, but that yeah. have been yeah. historically funded, funded by that have gotten their funds from other venues. Is it is it an appropriate expenditure for economic right. development, which is our purview? Which is inviting. Right making the town inviting or the village inviting for that, people to come enjoy it that's one objective of the edc and come back and that's that's, that's one objective but it's not the only objective and so if, if this were if this didn't involve trade-offs we, we wouldn't need the meeting uh, so I, i'm not trying to be in favor or oppose personally mm -hmm. of, of any grant I, i'm just saying that i think we need to decide mm -hmm. you know we need to set we need to review the criteria we've been using and We've agreed to do that, so and we look forward to public input at that at that time. So. Okay. Going to be a long okay. meeting. <laughs> do, <laughs> okay, so do we have a motion to adjourn? Second. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I think we are adjourned. We're what done. time is that? Thank we have everybody. To start. Thank you. What time will that be? Uh, Six p.m. Six o'clock. 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 Six